Well, good morning. I hope that this day is off to a good start for you. We are walking with Jesus through the book of Mark, and we have come to chapter 5, starting in verse 21. We're actually going to cover quite a few verses today because we're talking about a miracle within a miracle. And there are two stories here about healings that Jesus did that are quite remarkable, and one story is kind of inserted in the middle of the other story. To begin with, we we have the reality that Jesus, once again, had crossed the Sea of Galilee, and when he had come to the other shore, he was met by such a great crowd that he decided to stay near the seashore. Well, in the midst of that crowd, there approached him one of the synagogue officials named Jairus. Jairus came pleading for Jesus to come and heal his daughter. His daughter was very critically ill. And Jairus was pleading for Jesus to come and heal her. Well, Jesus immediately started that direction, started moving with the crowd. But as they were moving along, and you kind of get the idea they were fairly close to the house when this happened, that the there was a woman that approached him, a woman with a bleeding issue that she had had for many years. And she came seeking Jesus as well. The scripture tells us there that she was thinking, if I just touch his garments, I'll get well. Well, she made her way through the crowd. She got close enough to Jesus, and she indeed reached out and touched his garment. And she was immediately healed. Well, here's where the story takes an interesting turn. Jesus stopped and turned around, and he said he felt power go out from him to heal this woman. He turned around and, and he looked at the crowd all the way around him and he said, who touched my garment? And the disciples that were with him said, you see all these people around you, right? All these people are there pressing in all around you and you ask, who touched my garment? Well, yes, that's exactly what he was asking. But also, even as he was asking, he evidently looked at the faces in that crowd and he saw the woman. And he called her to come to him. And she came and she fell down at his feet. She was afraid. And yet Jesus compassionately spoke to her. And he told her that her faith had made her well. And then he said, go in peace and be healed. So here's the question. Was it the power that came out of Jesus that made her well? Or was it her faith that made, it, made her well? Interesting point of discussion. I'm kind of reminded of the second chapter of the book of James, where it talks about how our faith is perfected by our works. Maybe we could say in this case that her faith was perfected by his works. Wasn't Jesus' power by itself enough to heal the woman? Well, of course it was. And on many other cases, we see Jesus healing people that he never uh, said anything about power going out from him. And so he could have just healed her. But she came in faith. And the power within Jesus responded to that faith. What does that mean? What does that mean for the power to go out from him? There is so much here that we don't understand. But we do understand this, that Jesus was compassionate. And that Jesus was full of power. And that Jesus wanted to put those things to work together in the lives of people. And so he brought healing to a number of people, this woman being one of them. Well, as they were there, still talking, as he was talking still with this woman, someone else came, and they came from the house of Jairus. Remember, he was on his way to the synagogue official's house to heal his daughter, and someone came from that house and said, tell Jesus not to bother coming. The child is dead. Well, Jesus didn't pay attention to that. He chose to take with him Peter, 
James and John, as he did on a number of other occasions, and he went to the house. And when he got there, he saw people crying, mourning, wailing, if you will. The, the grief was intense, and it was a hard scene to see, I'm sure. And, and to the father, Jesus said at this point, do not be afraid any longer, only believe. And then Jesus spoke to the crying crowd. And he said, why make a commotion and weep? The child has not died, but is asleep. And they laughed at him. But then Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, and the father, and the mother of this little girl. And they went into the room where the little girl was. And Jesus called for her to get up. Talitha kum. He spoke in Aramaic saying, little girl, arise. And she did. He brought her back from the dead. She was indeed dead. And Jesus resurrected her. Well, it says the people were astounded. I think that's probably an understatement. What in the world is going on here that this man can do this? And then, as to bring an interesting end to this story, Jesus gave them instructions to give this little girl something to eat. What is that? Was raising her up from the dead not enough? I don't think we understand this as well either. She was evidently weak. I suppose being dead does tend to make one weak. And so Jesus wanted her body nourished. He brought it back to life. And now he wanted it nourished in a more natural way. I don't know, maybe being resurrected makes you hungry. I don't mean to speak irreverently here, but, but isn't that an interesting turn of events? But here's the point of these two stories, this miracle within the story of another miracle. This is a powerful Jesus with whom we have this relationship. And our faith is very important. When our faith comes to work with his power, then amazing things can happen in our lives as well. Not everyone is healed, but everyone can be touched by the power of God. I would urge you this day to continue to follow this Jesus. Trust in this Christ who makes such a difference in people's lives. Go and have a great day. Bye.